I have seen so many videos, even just the last week, but especially the last few weeks, of so many first-time mums asking for help for baby essentials. And I am currently pregnant with my third baby. I'm absolutely no expert whatsoever, but I like to think I've got a bit of an idea what works for us, at least at what I find essential. Um, essential stuff is going to be very different for everybody, depending on budget, lifestyle, just so many things. But for me personally, these are the things that I wanted to have before baby girl arrived and what I, I mean, some of them you could absolutely live without. They are not essential, but to me, they make life so much easier that I wanted to have them. Um, so we'll just get straight into it. Oh, and just quickly, obviously that includes like nappies and wipes. I don't have them sitting here, but obviously they're pretty essential. Um, I do have scented nappy bags, which is helpful because they stink. Um, but I don't have nappies and wipes sitting here. And I also want to add to the list a nappy bag or baby bag, whatever. I don't have that here either because I haven't found one that I like. Um, I'm trying to find something really compact and small just so I really only have the necessities because some people get those massive baby bags and put half the house in them. And that's great for those people that want to be like really prepared. For me, I just don't, I don't know if it's just because it's my third, I just don't need that much stuff. Um, but yeah, nappy bag is an essential, I think, but that's not here. So I've made a little bit of a mess, but for me, we bottle feed for so many reasons I'm not even going into. Um, the Avon and the Tommy Tippy are the ones we've used before. So we've gone Tommy Tippy again this time, simply because they had a massive sale when I went into the store to get some. So we have six of those. Um, a nappy caddy for the house. This one's from Target. I find they're really helpful if you're moving from room to room just to put nappies, wipes, creams, whatever in to change baby. Um, what else we got? Oh, this is just from Kmart. Just a simple bottle brush. It's also got a little brush on the inside for the teat. There's so many of those that you can find and get. Um, I also have this little formula dispenser that, as you can see, it's got little sections that you measure out the correct amount of formula and you can put that in your baby bag um, for when you're out and about. Um, what do we got? Bibs. I've just got a few packs of just plain bibs because babies like to be sick a lot. Not all, but some. Um, what else have we got? I've got just a pack of washcloths for the bath. Speaking of the bath, I went with this very cheap Kmart collapsible bath because they are usually so big and bulky and take up so much space that I love that this one's collapsible I can just stick it behind the bathroom door um, and it's out of the way and also if you ever are going to get a baby bath please get one that has a plug because they are so heavy trying to uh, empty or anything so get one that's already got a plug in it so much more helpful that was really good grammar um, I also went with this Kmart bath support. We had one of the plastic harder ones with both our other babies. Really not that comfortable. These ones I thought was more of like a hammock. It's like a toweling removable cover so you can wash it. And I thought that would just be so much more soft and comfortable for them in when they're little because obviously they can't just straight away sit in a bath. Um, don't mind. I've got mess everywhere. Um, swaddles. So I've got, this big one is for winter. So I'm more of a swaddler. I don't really use blankets if I can, because obviously they can cause, um, just, they're just not always the safest. Where swaddles, they can't get it over their head, but they stay warm. So that's a nice thick winter one. I also have these little newborn ones. I should note, not all babies like to be swaddled. My son did not like to be swaddled. Um, as in with his arms in, he was happy with the arms out ones, but my daughter, um, she had colic and reflux and was a very, we had a very hard time with her. She only slept if she was like completely straight jacketed. So these are from Kmart. You get a two pack. Um, these are just a little tiny newborn ones. And I think they even have the zip at the bottom so you can just access for nappies. So you keep them nice and warm. I love swaddles for me. I think they're great. Um, then I've got more blankets over here. These are just, again, Kmart. They've got such good stuff. These are just like big stretchy square ones. I usually use these more for when you're out and about, like in the pram or the capsule or whatever. Um, our baby's going to be born in the middle of summer here in Australia. So I have these really thin muslin cloth, um, blankies, which I think are helpful. They're from Target. 
this is also from Target. I just grabbed just just grabbed one. I've got a couple of warmer, um, thicker blankets because once she's a few months old, we'll be coming into autumn and winter. Um, what else have we got? Dummies. We usually switch between Avent and Tommy Tippy for dummies as well. My son especially loved the Tommy Tippy glow in the dark ones, but these ones looked really good um, in terms of the shape. And I know a lot of dummies say they're like orthodontist approved or whatever, but um, I just really liked these ones. So I've got a couple of packs of dummies. Again, not all but babies take to dummies. That's fine. And lastly, a breastfeeding pillow. Even though I didn't breastfeed, these are so comfortable um, to put around you while you're bottle feeding because obviously you need to prop baby up. Um, and it's just, I used to just stuff cushions under my elbow with Sophie. But these are actually really handy and they're only like $10, $15 or something, not that bad. Um, another thing I would say is sort of an, I would say it's an essential is to have some kind of bouncer or like just a seat kind of thing that you can put them in. Um, as long as they're also safe for like newborn age, but even up until they're like six months, my kids use them. Um, and I don't just put them in them all day, every day. I like put them in there even, you know, one month, three months, whatever. So I can like quickly have a shower. You can pop them in the bouncer, bring it into the bathroom so you can shower, you can see them. Um, or if you need to quickly run around and vacuum or make a bottle or like they're just put somewhere that's like safe. Um, once they get a little bit older or trying to roll or get around, you can strap them in. So whether that be, like I said, just a bouncer seat or a rocking seat, it does not have to be anything fancy. It could literally be a $20 cheap one from Kmart or actually they're not even $20, but you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It just really, it really doesn't. Any of this stuff you can get secondhand, you do it. Um, I'm going to do a little secondhand video in a minute of some of the amazing bargains that I got. Um, and maybe the other thing I might add for me personally that's on my list still to get is a baby carrier. I had one for the other two. Absolute lifesaver when you're going to the supermarket or just when you're out and about. Even when you're at home, Sophie was like, we could not put her down for the first like four months of her life thanks to her colic and she just was, it was really difficult time. So I, sorry, I'm so out of breath. I would put her in her baby carrier literally to cook dinner and she would just go straight to sleep and I could go about my business. She's on me, but my arms are free. Like they're so helpful. Um, I definitely would recommend one of those. Again, you can get them really cheap secondhand. Um, I'm actually, yeah, on the lookout for one and I don't really know what I'm going to go with this time. I think I'm going to go back to the Ergo 360 which is what I had with James. I loved it. It was very supportive and I would take the, like, I don't really care how it looks. I don't care if it's not like the prettiest, most fashionable carrier. Like I want it to be supportive on my back. I've got a terrible back. Um, and as baby gets older, like James at six months was, he was a big boy. He was heavy and thank God I had a good carrier. Um, but yeah, that's something that I definitely, definitely want to, I still have to get um, I don't think there's anything else off the top of my head. Oh, no, sorry. Um, I have a co-sleeper that goes next to our bed. Um, this side rolls down. So as you put it hard up next to your bed, not where your blankets can get onto them. Um, and then I can see and reach and touch them during the night. I literally just have to peek my eyes open and I can see them like right there next to me where personally not co-sleepers. Um, but Oh, sorry. My goodness, this indigestion. But these are, um, I got this for, I think, $100 off Marketplace when I was pregnant with James. Um, worth every penny, I think. Um, yeah, love love a co-sleeper. But yeah, I think that's everything off the top of my head. If I forget anything, I'll add it in the comments. But they're the main essentials, I think, that you kind of need from the get-go. Um, like I said, not all of that is essential, but to me, they're helpful. And anything that makes your life easier with a newborn is totally worth having, in my opinion.